Okay, so who would like to make an even bigger impact with their business? Who would love to be creating more safe havens and helping others to make more of an income as well as yourself? I'm here to share my top 10 team building tips with you. So number one for me is make sure you have the right mindset. Be passionate. You're not being pushy. And so many people are afraid that if they talk about the business opportunity, that they're being pushy. They're making somebody do something that they're not comfortable with. But somebody gave you the opportunity. You wanted it. You grabbed it. So pass that gift on to somebody else. Don't be afraid. All you're doing is sharing. And it's up to them to decide if it's something that they'd like to try or not. So don't fear being pushy. Just share. Next one is don't fear losing customers. A lot of people tell me that they think if, well, if I talk to my customers and they join my team, then they're not going, I'm not going to have those customers anymore and I'm not going to have enough people myself. But there is lots of people out there to share Norwex with. We haven't even hit the tip of the iceberg yet. And if you have a customer and you sell, for example, 100 pounds to them, what are you making on that? You're making 28 pounds, okay, with your 28% commission. But think of it this way. If you have 10 people underneath you and they're all selling 100 pounds, you're making 4% on that. And that means that you've earned 40 pounds, not 28 pounds. And all of those people are earning money as well. So you're earning more, they're earning money, and you're reaching more people. So it just makes sense to keep sharing the business and spreading uh, the good news and not to fear it. When I first joined uh, direct selling, my daddy thought that. He thought, Karen, but if, if all these people join your team, where are you going to get business from? And I've been 15 years in the industry now and that still hasn't happened. So don't fear losing customers. Number three, you want to try and appeal to all types of people. Okay, you might have joined for a particular reason, but don't just talk about that reason. You know, maybe if, if you join because you have young children and this is so flexible and fits around them, that's great. Absolutely share that. But remember, lots of other people have other reasons they'd want to join. So when you're talking to somebody or you're doing a party or a presentation, make sure that you mention that there's lots of different reasons for joining and lots of different people. It might be somebody who has children who are older now and they want to pay for weddings, they want to pay for university fees, or maybe their children have left home and they're now empty nesters and they would just love something like this to give them more of a, a social life and uh, to you know just give them something that they'd love to get their teeth into now in this next stage of their life. So do always bear in mind that Anybody can do Norwex, young or old, men or women, kids, no kids, married, not married. Everybody can fit Norwex around their different lifestyles. So don't forget to mention other aspects apart from your own. Number four, do share regularly in your VIP groups. Now, sometimes we can feel as if, again, we're being pushy and or, or, you know, we're, they don't, we don't like to talk about the business. but. Everybody needs to hear something, usually quite a number of times before they'll decide to make that decision or decide to jump. And I find in my VIP group, I mean, I don't talk about the business over and over and over again. Of course, I share product tips and new products and all sorts of little things. But I do, on a reasonably regular basis, several times a month mention the income opportunity because I know that there are people in my group who've maybe been there for a year or more and they never jumped that first time but they've seen it a little bit and a little bit and it's been in the back of their mind and gradually bit by bit it comes forward and they decide you know what I think now's my time I will have a go at this so don't be afraid to, to share it um, more than once in a blue moon. And also share it in different ways. Don't always just put the same thing up. You know, maybe you want to share um, the lives from the, the UK and uh, EU Facebook page. Maybe you want to put up a post with writing and a picture. Sometimes people just like to read something. They don't want to watch a video. Or maybe you want to even go live and share your own story. <coughs> Excuse me, but mix it up a bit. And, uh, you know, different ways of presenting something can appeal to different people. Number five is share your story 
in your party, okay? Don't shy away from that either. I hear so many people say, oh, I'm fine talking about the products and I love to share that, but then when I get to where I know I should talk about the business opportunity, I just cut things short or I stop. So whether you're doing in-home parties or WhatsApp parties, Facebook parties, whatever it is, this is such an amazing part of the business. Don't leave it out. You know, there's so many people out there and they, they would just love to know, to hear that, well, do you know what? You know, they're, they're thinking, I want the whole catalog and can't afford it, but let them know that there's, well, there is a way that you could. You can join Norwex and share with friends and family, make a little bit of money, get discount on your products, and they would just love to have heard that, but they won't know if you don't tell them. And again, you're not being pushy, you're just informing them. And then it's up to them to make that decision. Again, mix it up. There's different ways to do it. You can see here in the slide, um, a Y bag, as we call it. Uh, this particular one this has got lots of different chocolate in it. And of course, that always appeals to everybody. You've mentioned chocolate, they want to listen to you. And uh, share all the different ways or reasons why you love Norwex through the different chocolates. I don't have time to go through them all now, but uh, you know we can share that training with you. But just for example, um, you know the Boost Bar. Do you want to have a, a boost in your life, a boost in your income? Um, you know, this could be something for you. So you, you bring it out in that way. And there's lots of different ways. I love at the end of my parties, whether I'm doing a home party or a Facebook party, um, I always share my story. I always say why I joined, explain the, the opportunities and get them the opportunity to ask me questions. And I actually get them all, anybody who asks a question goes in a prize draw. And it just gets them thinking, it gets them asking what they want to know and others are listening and, and learning from those answers. And it really does spark an interest. And that's definitely for me, one of the big things that I find makes a huge impact on you know bringing people in, into the team. Number six is have a strong diary. You know, you don't want to be constantly just going back to the same people. You need to meet new people. You need to need meet um, fresh people to share the story with. So you need to have a strong diary. So today is not, obviously I'm not doing a, a training on bookings and on your diary, but that's something that you need to look into. You want to be constantly meeting new people so that you can share the opportunity with them and then your, your team will, will grow from there. So work on your diary, make sure that you're out there meeting lots of new people all the time, maybe even one-to-ones um, and all of that type of thing. Number seven, sow the seeds more than once in a party. So I talked a wee minute ago how I love to end my parties with really sharing my story and everything, but that's just not the only place. As I go through the party again, in home or Facebook, you want to sprinkle it about. Uh, maybe you're talking about a particular product that you love and you say, look, I actually earned this free from Norwex or the classic one here in the slide is the mop, the options, the three different ways to get the mop. When I'm doing the mop, I always talk about the three options of either purchasing it, hosting a party to get it or the best way is to get it free in the kit with loads of other products and uh, you know, just to get your teeth into a lovely new business. So do sprinkle it uh, along the way. Don't just you know, mention it the once. And I also, I do go live quite a few times when I'm doing my parties. I'll not just do one live, I'll maybe do a wee introduction, I'll maybe do a live on the course, if you have five, a live on the mop, a, a live on some extra hidden gems. And I find that for me, helps me to build rapport with the people in the party. They're getting to know me a bit more. I'm getting to know them through the comments. And that is so important. Again, whether it's in-house or Facebook, you wanna be chatting to the people, getting to know them, because at the end of the day, yes, they want to join Norwex to for their different reasons, but they're joining you. So you need to build up that relationship with them so they get to know you, and then they'll want to join your team. Number eight, Turn a sale into a new partner to share the mission with. Again, if somebody comes to me, and particularly if they're buying quite a lot, or if they say, I can't afford to buy anything, I will always say, well, have you ever thought of actually joining Norwex? And then you can get the products at discount, or you can get the item that you're sharing at discount. So always give them that option. That's being kind, that's being helpful. Again, it's not being pushy. Number nine 
even if you're out and about doing trade fairs, and hopefully we'll be all getting out again to, to do those again, uh, share the opportunity. I learned this just, I never would have done this until just before um, sort of lockdown hit and the last few trade fairs that I did and agricultural shows and things like that. I don't just have a display of the products, I actually dedicate an entire table to the income opportunity. Have the kit out and when people come up, that's the first thing that I talk to them about as opposed to jumping into the products, which I used to would have done. So I have changed my mindset on that and now I know that that's the best thing I have to offer. So tell people about that first. So make that um, a feature. And lastly, share the opportunity video with each customer. We now have so many fantastic um, resources from Norwex and we have the whole now opportunity bundle and um, now this is something that I'm just about to implement, I have to be honest, I mean I would talk to everybody on the phone and share it as much as I could, but with this new resource now, um, it was actually Joe who suggested why not when you're, you know, um, maybe contacting somebody on WhatsApp or Facebook or whatever, Facebook Messenger, you know, say have you ever thought about this and share the opportunity video and then go back to them and see um, what they thought. And do make sure you go back, don't just say here's wee something for you to watch ask them what they thought about it and go back to them. And you never know what conversations uh, that will uh, open up. So just to sum up, it's so much more fun when you're doing this business with others. It's so rewarding when you have brought others in and you can see them grow and flourish and earning an income from their family. So don't just plod along on your own. Get out there, share the, the, the mission and uh, enjoy building a team with yourself um, and with others.